We are social creatures. We thrive and have been thriving on cooperation, communication, working together, banding together. It's the whole idea of the tribe and traditionally being outcasted from that tribe and being forced to survive on our own was basically a death sentence. But I think that, especially in today's day and age, there is an unsung uh, praise for solitude that very few of us are really accepting, especially when it comes to uh, relationships, right? Like, it's, it's so easy to view a single person as like a loser or, you know, someone that's not so uh, closely tied to a friend group as, you know, like kind of a social outcast and stuff like that. And, you know, I think that there is a value to solitude that you just can't get when you're uh, constantly cluttering your life up with people and cluttering your life up with with uh, activities and doing and there needs to be stillness the balance that 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 even going as far back as Buddhism talks about the balance that that is so important in our lives comes from the polar opposite because we live in a society that is so go 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 and you must be creating you must be doing you must be working you must be whatever you know interacting putting yourself out there uh and i do all these things but there's also the more you do the more you 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 need to find that stillness to balance it out is basically what I'm trying to say. And solitude is the finest and sharpest way to really get to the core truth of what we're going through. Because I'm in therapy, I do yoga, I, I, I work out regularly, uh, I journal regularly, I do dream journaling even. Uh, there's a lot of different things that I do. I meditate that... that um, you know, help me uh, stay grounded, help me balance myself out. But I think there's a level of, of, of just pure solitude and stillness. And I think that some of those things that I mentioned, like, like meditating, journaling, you know, a lot, uh, a lot of those things are activities to do in that solitude, in that stillness. And I think that that's, this is why, uh, it's so much easier to find yourself being uh, uh, at your most creative or your most productive when you're single or when you're, you know, you're not living with family members or you're not really going out as much because the less you spread yourself thin and the more you kind of bring yourself back to center, then you're able to really hone in on where your focus needs to be, whether you're, you're, you're just simply focused on healing or there's a certain level of creativity that you wanna to get to. All of that comes from just being alone for a moment and allowing yourself to really sink into the moment that you're in. And I know that for someone like me, it takes solitude in order for me to find mental clarity and in order for me to really understand what I'm going through uh, uh, from a different perspective other than just simply what I'm locked into. Just to tap into uh, who I am in my dreams, which is a reflection of, of uh, um, my moon, essentially. I'm, I'm finding that, that like as, as a Pisces moon, I'm really, I'm really, really, really uh, uh, expressing myself in, in an emotional way and in a very uh, uh, almost like swept away by my emotions uh, uh, in my dreams. There's a level of needing to be in control that we all want to feel. And 
when we're spreading ourselves too thin and we're spreading ourselves, uh, uh, um, you know, like, or, or we're giving too much of ourselves essentially to certain people. Like I have some friends that like, I'm happy to call them friends, but you know, some of them almost view me as like a crutch in certain, uh, like I know that I have family members that do the same thing. You know, whenever I speak to my, my dad specifically, you know, he'll, he'll always kind of give me the rundown of what he's going through. Um, and, you know, I mostly just sit there and listen, you know, un until like, I feel like, you know what, I, I want to have like some interaction. So I'm going to interject like a, an opinion, you know, not, not what I think anyone else should be doing, but like specifically like what I think or what I would be doing in his predicaments. But I think there's, 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 um, a, a level of, 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 of self-control and discipline that, that just isn't present when we're, we're spread too thin. And I know this is something that I keep reiterating, but it, but it's a, it's a point I really need to drive home because I have, uh, other friends that, you know, are really ambitious and, and, and I'm really ambitious too. So like, I really do appreciate their, their ambitiousness, but they want to be photographers. They want to be musicians. They, they, they want to be, uh, 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 playwrights. They want to be, you know, um, all these different things at the same time, you know, juggling so many different, uh, uh, uh career paths at once. And, you know, I'm someone that just recently decided to uh, do more than just music because I'm so, it's so easy for me to just focus on one thing and really do that. And I think as far as a career path goes and as far as really pushing myself uh, uh, to grow in a career sort of way, music is still my medium, but like, why not express myself as a poet, as a slam poet like I used to, you know? Why not express myself in morning talks like this video? Why not, you know, like I, I actually have some events that I speak at live, you know, like I got invited to speak at a suicide prevention event and then I got invited to speak at a vulnerable narratives event and, and now I'm doing another. Um, so like, why, why not like open ourselves up in, in multiple ways, but the only reason why I believe that I'm able to do this is because I, for the past two years, have really spent a lot of time alone, contemplating, thinking, refining, and even moving forward with uh, like a potential future relationship romantically or you know, the relationships that I have with, with uh, um, my bandmates and other friends of mine, there's still a certain level of solitude that's necessary in order for me to remain creative, in order for me to, to find that stillness and that inner peace, to balance out the chaos of, of like putting myself out there in the world and seeing what happens and interacting with other people, you know? Like I was in the city just the other day and, and there's so many people and as much as I love visiting the city, like I can't imagine living in the city cause it's just constant stimulation all the time. And this is why like, even though I'm a creative, uh, uh, I make content regularly, I'm not consuming content regularly. Like maybe I'll be on YouTube watching uh, like a video or two every day, but like, I'm not like, constantly going from one video to the other. I'm not like constantly scrolling Instagram or TikTok, even though I'm posting on those those platforms regularly. Uh, it's because it's too overstimulating for me. And I know that in order for me to have the clarity in order to create, I can't be overstimulating myself with other things that are going on. Like, oh, what did this person say? What's going on politically and all this stuff? Like. You know, I have a general idea of what's happening in the world. I don't need the constant stimulation of like, like what's happening, what's happening, what's happening. You know, I don't have that fear of, of, of missing out when it comes to 
you know, certain things anymore. I think that maybe in my 20s, I was more like that. And in my teens, definitely more like that. But, you know, the older we get, like, the more it's kind of like, okay, yeah, I get it. You know, I'll, I'll, stay, I'll stay in touch with what's going on, but I'm not going to overly invest myself with what's going on. You know, like, I haven't watched the new Rings of Power, but based on what I saw with the last season and what I'm hearing with this with this this new season, I don't feel like I'm missing out on anything. I know what's happening and it's fine. You know, I don't need to like, you know, stay up to date, you know. And and I'm not really too invested in it anyway cuz like as much as I like Tolkien and as much as I like The Lord of the Rings, you know, I don't feel like a poor adaptation of The Second Age is really ruining my childhood or ruining Tolkien for me you know like I still have those stories from the Silmarillion that I really enjoy and those will always be what they are you know and I know that for some people like I watched House of the Dragon like for some people that read Fire and Blood it's a similar thing for that you know and I like the stories in Fire and Blood I like a lot of the adaptation in in House of the Dragon there's a few things that like I'm a little bummed out about with how they were adapted, but like at the end of the day, it's not ruining anything for me, you know? Could it be better? Yes, but anything could be better. So I think that, just to, to, to zoom out of all of that, overstimulating ourselves with, with, with TV shows and all these different distractions, people and whatnot, is, 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 is clogging our energy, it's clogging our creativity, and we really need solitude. We need to be alone. Even when we are in a romantic relationship with someone else, we need to still f carve out our own space. Even while we're living with that person, we need to still carve out our own space and our own solitude to really come back to ourselves, to find that inner peace and that mental clarity, to allow ourselves to continue to create to continue to grow and to just balance out our lives more healthily. So thank you for tuning in and I hope you uh, took something of value from this video. Uh, I try to post a new video every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, uh, whether they be a live performance of music or a morning talk like this. So with that said, Thanks for tuning in and I hope you have a good day.